C.J. Ward. Time is running out for the city of Santa Barbara to create voting districts. A map must be presented to a judge on Monday. News Channel 3's Tracy Lair is live at City Hall. And Tracy, today the city council is holding a third public hearing on this matter. CJ, we just had the good fortune of running into Barry Capello, who's just arriving for this meeting. He's the attorney overseeing this lawsuit, and we might as well hear from him, because today's a big day to look at maps. Monday, they will decide on one, and Tuesday, they will bring one to a judge that will create uh, districts for six city council members, but it will still be at large for the mayor. Um, uh, Mr. Capello, what do you think of the process so far? Well, I, we really like the process. We think the city's done a good thing. Uh, it's been very democratic. So uh, we're looking forward today to give our input and hopefully the council will pick the, the maps we think are necessary to endure the settlement agreement which we have with them. We spoke to the president of the National Demographics Corporation. He said this was the way to save money, even though people have said the lawyers are expensive. Right. What do you think of that? Well, you understand uh, what, what this is a process is, is if cities don't do this, somebody's got to enforce it. Uh, usually in the past, the federal government did it, but that's not the way it is in California. So private attorneys do it like private attorney generals. Uh, $600,000 sounded like a lot of money, but most cities are paying two and three million dollars. So the city really did a, a very smart job getting it done quickly. Anything else you want to say? No, we're happy to be here. We hope that it goes as smoothly as it's just been going. All right, well, we'll talk to you again Thank inside you. that meeting. Uh, this is the attorney that's bringing this forward, and I can tell you that many other cities in the state are watching this. More than a dozen have already gone to district elections, and Santa Maria might be one of the next. Reporting live at the City Hall in Santa Barbara, Tracy Lair, News Channel 3. Okay, thank you, Tracy. More